Hello, my name is Colin Riddington, and this is the fourth in a series of videos about ways of getting users' attention in Access Databases. And today's video, we're going to concentrate on system tray and message alerts. Now, this series of videos has been designed to show you many different ways of getting users' attention. In video one, we looked at different sorts of message boxes, including standard message boxes and formatting, adding bold to the text. We also use task dialogues to get a greater variety of messages and then we use customized message boxes created especially with HTML formatting as, to, as you require, additional buttons and if you wanted to a countdown timer to count things down until something happens. We also use text to speech to alert users, obviously that requires the use of sound and speakers there. In video 2 we looked at animation effects in forms as well as transparency and other effects with forms including fading and rounding. We also looked at ways of concentrating users attention on the foreground by changing the background, dimming it, blurring it or removing it completely. In video 3 we looked at text effects, both flashing text where it flashes on and off and text that scrolls across the screen. We also looked at doing the same things with the caption text that appears in the form title bars. And in the fourth of the videos in this series we're going to look at system tray alerts, sometimes co called balloon tool tips, as well as the simple you have new messages feature. Let's look at the database. Now over the chorus of the video series we've looked at all of the items in the top part of this menu here down to as far as the flashing title bar caption. So today we're going to do a couple of items starting with balloon tool tip alerts. Now when these were first set up they were very effective because there weren't many of them so users noted and paid attention to what they said. Let's show you the idea. If I click on that a message appears saying that within in five minutes time the program will close e.g. for routine maintenance please complete your work and exit it's got a, a title there and it's got a sign it also tells you the program it came from fine but unfortunately uh, over a period of time the number of messages that appeared increased and increased you got a new message every time a new email appeared various different programs would assign notifications to you so it got to the stage where whatever you were doing new messages would keep appearing like that all the time unfortunately therefore people got fed up with them and so Microsoft responded to users feedback and started allowing them to limit the number of messages that appeared the standard is to set this to no restrictions focus this is off I can change this to priority only. What is priority will depend on your settings in the system in the Windows settings area. If I click on that, in this particular case, it still works. But I've got a further restriction to alarms only. Alarms only will actually limit it to only the most important things will appear overnight, and this is not considered to be the most important. Now when I click on that nothing happens at all. There's a further restriction and you saw though the message I did then appeared in the notification area so that it would actually show up next morning but it's too late then. A further restriction then when I set this up I had to define access as being one of the programs that could set messages here so in the notification area there you see access is actually switched so it will turn on sounds and banners or messages in the tooltips area system tray alerts let's turn that off any user can turn it off and let's change this back so there's no restriction there click on this again and still nothing happens something will happen of course if I turn this back on And we're back to normal. So the system works well providing users don't disable it but let's see how it's done. When I click on that as well as some various housekeeping here I've got a single line of code show balloon tooltip with the title bar and the message and the symbol that I actually want to appear. Let's look at the code behind that. Show balloon tooltip all it does is it creates a new blue balloon tooltip you can have more than one with a heading 
a message, an icon, and you show it. But of course there is something behind that as well, and that something is a class module called Balloon Tooltip. And this is very, very complicated with various different APIs, lots of different subs and properties and functions and I'm not going to attempt to explain any of that to you you can use it as a black box all you need to do if you wish to do so is to create a message a show, a show balloon tooltip according to what you want to appear and you have to hope that users haven't disabled the feature otherwise they won't see anything at all it's useful in certain circumstances, but not as useful as it was some years ago. Another method is to create user messages. If I click on that, you see the five messages I've got here. And these are all the unread messages that I've done so far here. If I click on that one, mark it as a red, and come out of here, it drops to four. Just the four I've got here. Let's create a new message. And close that. That's increased to five, and you can see users now have that message as well. Of course, it doesn't alert them beyond that sign up there, and it goes to all users. You could adapt the code so that it actually would only go to a certain users. Let's show you how that's done anyway. When I create a new message, it adds a new record to this table here. And as long as the message hasn't been read, these are the ones that have been, the ones that are unread will appear in this list for all users. You could adapt that so that it was actually sent to certain users only, and then only those users would see the message, others would see nothing at all. You could do that either with this system here, or you could have a message box appears for, all the, for those users concerned. That's covered all the things I want to do here. There is another item here which I'm not going to cover. I add a bit more drama that includes sound effects, display effects, and it also shows you some of the information you can get from any user's computer without any effort at all. But I'm not going to do that. I'll leave you to download the app if you wish to do so, and you can look at that in your own time. So let's close this and going back to our to our PowerPoint here. To download the database, then go to my website and go to this particular page https www.isledogs.co.uk attention seek and the example app that's supplied with that page there will include all of the items I've done in this whole series of videos I hope it's given you some inspiration ways of getting users attention in your own apps but do bear in mind if you overdo it it will be utterly irritating to your end users please use it sparingly don't whatever you do try and use everything at once otherwise your users will just be utterly annoyed thanks ever so much for watching if you found it useful please add a like leave a comment suggest future topic videos and please subscribe you'll be notified whenever i upload any new videos thanks again i'll see you soon